Okay, that's pretty easy to clear. Uh, there's like a lot of this I gotta do. Okay, so far so good. I haven't run into anything that's gonna kill me several times just yet. And I hope I never do. Come on, there we go. Hi, apparently we can still talk. Well, this is it. Is this my last chance to take care of any unfinished business before the big ending? Is a frog's ass water tight? What? I guess so. Precisely. Do you have any stories to share? One last for the road, huh? Why, of course. Here's one for you. There once was a little boy stuck in a well. It wasn't really clear why he was in there. People assumed he fell while playing. Or that someone had pushed him. In truth, he had jumped in there himself. He spent years in the well, wasting away anxiously, feeling utterly inadequate. He had a deep desire to share his ideas with the world, but shame having played such a big part in his upbringing, his will lay broken. That's why the well suited him so perfectly. A place to hide, where he could be alone with his stories, with no one to mock or judge him. A safe life, unfortunately devoid of purpose but at least shielded from rejection. One day, as he was role-playing, a wanderer passing by looked down the well. Hey! What's going on down there? He asked curiously, intent on joining in on the fun. Oh, nothing. Sorry about the noise, the little boy replied. And thus the well remained silent for weeks. The wanderer, patient and compassionate, sat by the well for all that time. His mind was already made up. He would do whatever it took to get that little boy out of there, so that he could share his stories with the world. The creative flame in that little boy's heart refused to die, and eventually he started role-playing again. So the Wanderer very cautiously started interacting with him again, telling him that his stories were entertaining, and nothing to be ashamed of. Their friendship built really slowly, based on genuine intentions and trust. A few months later, the Wanderer and the little boy were sitting together in the well, laughing and sharing stories. The well became an increasingly ha habitable place, and passers-by started looking in. I think I'm not the only one who would like to hear your stories, the wanderer mused one day. I'm too afraid to climb out, the little boy replied. It's okay, the wanderer reassured him. Let me know when you are ready. Years passed, the little boy's imagination becoming more focused, his thoughts and stories shaping into a concrete little world. And then one day, he decided to take the chance. He would build this world and show it to everyone. The Wanderer helped him climb out. Merci, Philip. The little boy shared his idea with creators of all crafts, and to his surprise, they wanted to help building it. And so the small team was put together, and he officially became a writer. I wish I could tell you it all ended in fame and fortune, but I trust you understand it's not what this whole journey has ever been about anyway. Merci, Sylvain. Merci, Eric. Merci, Martin. Merci, Michael. Philippe. Jean-Luc. Carl. Savannah. Magli. I bet you those are people that were, like, the developers' families. I would not be surprised. If not the developers themselves. Okay. Now the spikes are going back up and down. We weren't doing that before. So far this level is not too hard. I just wonder how long it is. Oh, careful. I suppose I can climb on the, uh, steam spouts. There we go.
All right, so far so good. Uh, okay, I see what I gotta do. Guess I'm supposed to do this. Whoa, okay, that's... Whoa! Yeah, let me get rid of that bird. As long as I don't mess up, we're good. Yeah, I can definitely tell this is not an easy stage. Which is a good thing. It really is. I'm going left. Let's make it happen. There we go. Oh, oh, Ooh, that was risky. God, if everything goes according to plan, I can finish this game tonight. Wait a minute. Do I have to go back? I think I do. Ah, yes I do. Perfect. Okay, I see what I gotta do. God, I kept messing up the timing. Shit. That did not go well in the end. Oh, okay. Do I go this way first? No. So it's a bit of a maze. So I guess if I do this... This then do that. Oh, but then there's no crystal on this side. I see what I gotta do. I gotta go to this side. This the crystal will be there after all. Done. What the hell is the next checkpoint to? I'm not gonna make it easy just for me to get there. Oh, there it is. You still don't have anything new. Alright. I figured I was going to activate. Okay, it doesn't look like I can get crushed if I duck. Okay, I see what I gotta do. Oof! Okay. Try that again. I'm supposed to stick to this part of the wall. Like that, see? Okay, 
What's this? Oh, just ways to get some health back. Sure, I'll just take some dumb hits. I don't care. I'll just power through. God, lo looking at this part of the level, I'm getting some Castlevania Bloodlines vibes. Okay, it's pretty easy to understand, like, how far these types of platforms go. Before they go back. Whoa, okay. Good to know you can't get crushed like that. Doesn't look easy to pull off. But I did it! I made it work! I always have my ways to make something happen. So, if any, so in case somebody does not believe me when I say that my uh, platforming skills are above average, this is proof. Dude, what the hell is this? Ah, I'm supposed to do this. Just get ready to climb onto that wall immediately. Obviously, do not die. God, how much more is there to do? I I gotta do some of these hooks next time. Nope, not necessarily. I guess there's just more than one way to skin a cat. Even though I'm glad that phrase does not involve the actual skinning of cats. That would be horrible. Oh, you can actually jump from under these platforms. I didn't know that. God, I hate when that happens. When I couldn't get the double jump the way I wanted. Oh, come on. I have to do all this again. All right, let me do that again. Whoa, okay, I don't think I was supposed to do that. Oh, I recovered. But then I messed up. Shit. I keep messing up there. I keep thinking when I just grab the hook that I'll just keep the forward momentum. But then it just goes away. It's not going as fast as I would like.
There we go. Finally made it past that part. Should I do this next? I think I do it from this way. Yeah. Get to the crystal now. By doing this. There we go. Am I supposed to go from this side? Am I? Ah, yes, I am. God, I should be very close to the final boss, am I? Like, I don't have a map to the rest of the level, so I can't tell. Like, I'm just relying on, uh, hoping I find something. Really? up till I died. Wow! Totally did everything wrong there. Like, that was just a... That was a major collapse. Hope somebody here in the chat knows the Heimlich Maneuver, because I just choked. to some new ground. So how far does this go? Pretty high up, actually. Like there's any end in sight right now. There's another save point. At least I'm getting plenty of them so far. As you're paying attention to everything around you, you should not get crushed. Theoretically, you shouldn't. Doesn't mean you won't, but definitely try your best not to. That. Oh god, so many bats. <laughs> By so many, I mean two. Oh, the music stopped. Let me guess. I'm near the final boss, aren't I? I think I hear Phantom's tune. Yes, the time has come. Any advice? I'm sorry, all we know is that the curse is very strong within him. You need to do this one on your own. Godspeed, messenger. Well, so much for your help. I'm on my own. A visitor? I must be having visions again. Are you okay? I mean no harm. 
Intentions matter little. My tune must be played. It was fated. Who are you? Did you get my message? How dare you trespass here? How dare you spell trespass with four S's instead of three? I am here to help! You have been cursed! Cursed? It's all true then, isn't it? All of it! But you can end this now! Remove the mask! Preposterous! I shall make short work of you! I'm not your enemy! You created the scroll, didn't you? Impossible! How long has it been? Did someone really get my message? Enough! You will pay for your treachery! Listen to me, Phantom! It took centuries, but humanity never gave up on you! Lies! 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 I'm here to set you free! I shall have none of it! Prepare to die, intruder! <coughs> Alright, how the hell do you fight? Okay! Jeez, where have I seen this before? Oh god, what is this? Okay, there was nothing I could have done there. Like, I seriously had to do Ganondorf this fight? Oh wow, I actually got hit there. Like, there's no way to counter this! It tracks you! Or maybe I'm not supposed to touch the walls. Uh-oh. So it's not a case of, like, just finding the real one, or is it? Because the real one just keeps getting away from me. What the hell is this? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, that wasn't too bad. I missed. Okay, I see that I'm actually safe if I don't touch electricity. Why did I not notice that earlier? Well, at least I know which one's real. So I can immediately cancel that attack. Too bad I can't get any health from these. Could have really used that. Keep missing because he drops it faster. God, that was a long fight, too, and I lost. This attack is pretty easy to dodge. And I can keep hitting him while he's playing, too. So 
it's hard to pay attention to that attack because every time you hit it, it flashes and the flash is distracting. So you have to really pay attention to it at all times. I was getting worried that I was going to mess up. Ooh, that was close. He's going to hit him several times. I'm your biggest fan! Wonder if uh, what happens if you beat him in a in the present. Does it make a difference? Thank you. I The music box! No! All my memories! I love This is bad! Let's get out of here! I really hope they can make it out fine. I'd love to finally meet Phantom. Please tell me Monk is not Muse. I am so worried right now. What if the shopkeeper doesn't get there in time? I knew I should have gone myself. We made it. It's finally over. Oh, it's Phantom. Do you want to try the Tower of Time challenge I designed? Give him some time. He has quite a, had quite a ride. But I've been waiting for this moment ever since I was first given the scroll. Can't you just breathe? Just this once? What's wrong? The curse. The mask's energy. I don't want to go back. I can't. All those walls. Hey, you're safe now. Don't worry. It's here. It wants to take me back. Help! Oh, this is bad. As I feared, Phantom was keeping the curse's power contained. How do we stop it? We don't. Its full force has been unleashed. We were fools. That was their plan all along. To let the curse grow in power as we waged an ultimately meaningless battle. Only to annihilate us completely when we thought we had won. What are you talking about? Surely you won't all give up so easily. Any suggestions then? I'm listening. It's simple. We have to do the thing. The order is down to the three of us. You know we're no match for such a force. Everyone here has been attuned to the scroll, so we should all be able to do the thing. Everyone, with me. All right, what is the thing that we have to do? Wait, I was already this boss. I already fought this boss. Do I have to actually be the boss? Hope I shot it enough times. Oh, it's a button masher. I don't like button mashers. The fake ending was better. I think we won. Wait, is it gonna go straight to credits after all that? It literally went straight to credits without anything else. Well, uh, my thumbs are a little... Well, my thumb is a little exhausted, but I think we just beat the game. 
Oh my god, that was quite an experience. Oh yeah, like the whole Merci part? It's actually the game designers. That's what it was. Whew, what a ride that was. So, what did you guys think of this game? I thought it was, like, really awesome. It's definitely worth the, uh... Probably, like, 20 bucks US? Yeah, it was around 20 bucks US. But yeah, if you get a chance to play this, I highly recommend it. Like, even though I probably showed you almost everything you can do in this game. But maybe you can get, like, all the trophies and achievements that I could not. Special thanks to Donkey Kong Country 2. Just, like, a whole game. Maybe that was the inspiration to this game as a whole. And <laughs> them Necro Goblicon boys. Those Swashbuckle boys. <laughs> I have a feeling that most of the developers were either in Quebec or in France. Because this was like a lot of French there. The ass crew. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but yeah, wow, that what an experience that was. I'll definitely be thinking about what my next stream project is. Probably stream on Friday or Saturday, whichever one I plan to do. Oh yeah, this definitely was made in Canada, because look, Canada Media Fund. So it had to be in Quebec. Wow, what an experience. I didn't think it would take me that many stream sessions to actually uh, beat this game, but it did. And I'm glad it did. Like, it didn't feel like just a few stages, okay, you're done. It definitely was a well-fleshed-out game. So I wonder what the rest of the ending is like. <laughs> Special thanks to Captain Morgan. I mean, after we're putting so much work in this game, they definitely deserve a lot of rum and coke. <laughs> The, the drink, not the drug. Well, that definitely gives it away. Cas Populaire de Jardin de Quebec. So it was definitely Quebec and not France. Good to know. Or Belgium. They have some French in Belgium. Oh man, I'm real tired now. That's not something I'd see from a Metroidvania game like this one. Maybe the reason they said DKC2 was is actually an actual name. Or it could be like... Maybe this was a game they played a lot growing up. That inspired them to get into game developing in the first place. What the hell is this? Then the mass shattered into pieces, and humanity was finally rid of the demon curse. The end. Wow! Talk about a long story! Well, you asked! Anything else I can help you with? I don't know. I can't afford any upgrades at the moment. Well, do you have any other stories to share? Of course! Here's one for you! Then he became that dude from Overwatch. To be continued. New game plus mode unlocked. Alright, so what exactly is new game plus? I guess just play through the game with all my upgrades? I think that's what it was. Or what it is. New Game Plus mode is additive. Every additional cycle increases difficulty, but also allows you to pick an additional item to be available from the start. Select the one you want to add with this run. Oh, so you can actually choose, like, which of the four items you want to start with. But every time you play through the game, it gets harder and harder. 
Okay, that that's rather interesting, I guess. But I think that's going to be it for uh, tonight's stream. So, I mean, I got nothing else to do, given that I've beaten this massive game as is. But for now, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you at the next sesh, whenever that is. Take care of yourselves. Goodbye, everyone.